all right so now let me summarize this video okay regarding some of the important features of the can bus as i said can is a broadcast type of bus okay so unlike a traditional network such as usb or ethernet or i2c can does not send data point to point from node a to node b under the supervision of central bus master for example in usb you have usb device and usb host then usb host is a bus master and it controls all the traffic on the bus so there is nothing like that in the can so all devices can hear the transmission when a device transmits so all devices can hear the transmission so there is no way to send a data specifically to to a node by using its address or something and all nodes will pick up the traffic on the bus and the can standard defines a communication network that links all the nodes connected to a bus and enables them to talk with one another so there may or may not be central control node okay and nodes may be added at any time even while the network is operating so that means can protocol is hot pluggable so you can remove or you can insert a device or a node without stopping the operation of other nodes or the CAN bus. All right, so that's a quick intro to understand the CAN features. And in the next lecture, we are going to learn more about a CAN node, its signaling, arbitration, a message transfer protocols. And in the next lecture, we are going to explore what exactly is this node? What is this? We'll explore that in the next lecture. We'll see how a node looks like because that is very important for our project and all. So I'll see you in the next lecture.